Hello. Welcome to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. My name is Charles. And today on my video, let's talk about some good that has come out of this Charlie Victor 19 that we've been going through. You know, everybody has been pretty much, you know, um, quarantined to your homes unless you have to go out and do essential things, you know, the grocery store, bank, doctor, something like that. But what has that given us? What that has given us is time. Time is a huge thing. Time is um, something you can never get back. So if you really sit back and think about it, and you could say that maybe um, this is God's will, you could say um, this was Mother Nature's way of um, watching over the planet, um, controlling the planet. Uh, you could say this is Murphy's Law. Um, there, there's quite a few things that you could say uh, why this is going on. But in all reality, if you really sit back and think about it, look what you're getting out of this situation. Yes, it is very difficult for a lot of people. Um, a lot of people are out of work. Um, not by their own fault, but because everything has been shut down. And we've been told to stay home. And, but you have been given time. Time is when you're spending it with your family or your kids, someday you will look back on this particular time because I'm sure a lot of people are, you know, you're doing home videos or, or you know, you started a scrapbook of things that you know you did on a daily basis or you know you took pictures of things that you were doing uh, while you had to be staying at home or just outside in your backyard with your family you're playing games you're barbecuing together um, because as I look back on time you know my kids are all grown up and there are times when I wish I could turn back time. So I would say to everyone out there, um, you have to try to look at the bright side of the situation. You have to try and make the best of the situation, the best that you can, you know? Um, if you have young kids, they really don't understand what's going on. Um, they don't understand that there's a pandemic going on. Um, we live in one of the greatest countries in this world. And that's something to be very proud of. I'm proud to be an American. I really am. You know, I do have, you know, I've put out a couple of videos where it's just sometimes things get under your skin and you just feel you have to voice your opinion. Because in, in no matter what situation, or what is going on, um, we're all entitled to our opinion. That is our given right. You know, that's why we live in this country. We have free speech. You may not agree with my opinion, and I may not agree with your opinion, but we're both entitled to the opinion. So, when it comes to what is going on, and how everybody is dealing with it. I'm sure some people are having a rough time because maybe they um, are having problems getting uh, their unemployment and you know they don't have a lot of money and they're stressing on the situation of how am I gonna put food on the table. And my thought on that is <clears throat> if people out there Anybody that's watching my channel or if you just watch my video, um, it's up to you to subscribe to it. That's a given right. 
You know, you are the one that can set and push the button. Um, if you do, that's great. I'd love to have more people. And if you don't, that's fine too. That is your given right. But if you know that somebody is really hurting and you have extra food or supplies that they may need or whatever else, help out a friend, help out a neighbor, you know, help out your family, especially if you can. I know personally, uh, me and my wife, well, when uh, all this hit the fan, uh, you know, we were, you know, we boxed up a few boxes of food supplies and, you know, I sent some to my mother because for one, I really didn't want her going out. You know, she's almost 80 years old and I sent some to my son and I made sure that my daughter was taken care of. Um, she already had, um, you know, some things already put up. And, um, you know, she is, you know, expecting her first child. And it's been a really tough go of that. Um, you know, a lot of things had to be canceled. Um, my wife was supposed to fly up. There was supposed to be a uh, baby shower that got canceled because there's no place to have it. And it's not safe for people to fly and it's, or travel. Um, uh, we're supposed to go up when she has the baby and we don't know if that's gonna take place or not. Um, but if it doesn't, there's a reason behind that. But, and again, we will make it there. At one point in time, it will happen. It just may not happen in our time. You know, everything is based on if you would like to say, you know, in God's time, that's a lot of phrases that people use um, but it could just also be um, the time that is of the essence that is going on in the world there's certain reasons why certain things happen now you know you have everybody says here and points fingers here and points fingers there and, and we're not going to get into all the politics we can save that for a later date. And I have posted, like I said, you know, some videos and they're just like little rants, you know, and everybody has these feelings, you know. Um, but, you know, when it comes down to it, it doesn't matter if you're white, black, brown, tan, uh, whatever color you are. We're all citizens of this world and we should all be treated the same way. You know, we all should be given the right to have food to put on our table. If someone says that they're going to make sure that you have money and pay you, they should be able to come through on that. You're relying on that, especially when you're put into a situation that you did not cause, that you can't control, and that you need to provide for your family. So, when you sit back and really look at everything that has happened over the last few months since January and how everything has kind of rolled out and how all of our lives have changed and the way that we do everything and the way we work, the way we shop, um, this is the time where, in my opinion, you can really sit back and ask yourself, are you happy with what you are doing? Are you really happy with the way your life is going? Are you really happy with the time that you have to spend with your kids? Because let me tell you something, once they're born, it's like a blink of an eye and the next thing you know, they're grown up and gone. So time is a very big deal in life. You know, we all lose loved ones. Everybody grows old. Everybody has to die. It's the fact of life. 
when you are born, you have an expiration date. And I firmly believe that everybody's expiration date is when they have fulfilled whatever it is that they were put here to do. And we may never know what that is. We just don't know. You know, when you go to bed at night, there's no guarantee you're going to wake up the next morning. So in closing, I want everybody to sit back and think about time. And I want you to really ponder how you spend your time with your family, your loved ones, your friends, and take a step back. And ask yourself, am I doing the right thing? Because it's not all about money, folks. Money is the root of all evil. Time with your family is precious. And you'll never get it back. My name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And I hope everybody has a great day. And until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side.